everybody and welcome back to a new house building video. Last week we did the shell for Monica Builds and this time I'm furnishing Monica House Shell. So welcome back Monica. Hi everybody. So she did an awesome job with trying to make a Dutch house. It's a very classic Dutch house as, how would you say it? The Dutch live with um, houses in rows, so these types of houses you don't see often. But if you see a house like this, you immediately think of a Dutch house. So I'm trying to furnish it as well as I can. Um, the thing with Dutch houses is there is no specific style. But one thing is very certain is that the kitchen is mostly a little bit more detailed and um, more dated. And stuff like living rooms and bedrooms, they will mostly modernize a bit. So, Monica, do you have something to say about the house itself? How you came up with it or how you think it looks? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm seeing the interior for the first time, so I, I, I didn't see much. I'm seeing the, the kitchen like everybody. <laughs> but it's looking, it's looking good so far. And... Uh, about the house, well, you sent me a picture and I just followed it and then watch, uh, search for more Dutch houses, pictures to build it. And I didn't know much about uh, like detached houses like this uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, like you told, uh, uh, you told on my channel like uh, last week, most houses, and you said just now, most houses are uh, row houses. So yeah, it was interesting and very fun to work on this. Well, it looks really, really good. That first of all. And um, yeah, the shell building video is on your channel, right? Yeah. Um, that was of last week. And last week on my channel was the French house. So if you want to see how the French house turned out. And I've already seen it, guys. You should really check out the video on Monica Bill's channel. I will link both of the videos on her channel down below. So, um, what you can see here is that the dining table and such are more um, modernized. And you see that just the rest of the kitchen is more dated because that's just the way some Dutch houses look. And here you can see that a bit of the living room got skipped because a part of the recording um, slipped through. I'm sorry, but you can see it in the background. Um, it's so cute. <laughs> I like the green uh, couches from uh, City. No, it's not City, but I mean, it's like. I'm not sure what pack it is. It's the movie stars cup pack, but I don't remember the name now. <laughs> get famous. Yeah, yeah, it's get famous. Yeah, but in Dutch houses mostly they will modernize some stuff. So the um, living room is partially modernized. You can still see there's an old um, fireplace. And you can see here is a mod uh, hobby room. So they changed that up and gave it a little paint. But you can still very much see some wooden accents. And I think in a lot of older Dutch houses a lot of wood is present so also the wooden plates I guess that you call it on the wall I don't know <laughs> <laughs> well that that's to me is very Dutch like in my kitsch, kit, kitsch, kids bedroom I also had these wooden plates on the wall so that really always reminds me of when I was younger and Monica placed one bike but we're in Holland so I placed down three more bikes <laughs> <laughs> in uh outside and inside want to be too stereotypical. oh no but I'm, I'm throwing it out there like there are probably living three sims in this house but we have four bikes because you always have like your older bike that you have as a reserve somewhere <laughs> in your sh shed outside like there's always this one old bike that you really don't want to ride but maybe um your own tire like breaks down so you're like Oh, I have a backup one. <laughs> and Do you have a lot of bikes in your household too? Um, well, we only have two because I live with my boyfriend. But at my parents' place, they both have a bike, but they don't ride them. So I have two um, additional bikes there. But I live near Rotterdam. So once there was a Rammstein concert and then um, they live closer to Rotterdam. So I just went to them with the car and we took both of my parents' um uh, bikes to go to the concert <laughs> as <laughs> typical Dutch people we went with the bike to the concert <laughs> so yeah, you wouldn't see that in Paris <laughs> <laughs> so it's really nice to have um, a backup bike somewhere but like I know a lot of people like 
have as a backup bike like their parents bike or someone else's bike but they always have a backup bike somewhere everyone has too many bikes so there needed to be more bikes in here to make it really dutch and so fun to see how you did the layout i was expecting you to put like not like expecting like it's a bad thing that you didn't do it on the put, putting but the the master the master bedroom in the in the ground floor and it's interesting that you decided to put uh, like a, a playroom. I don't know why you say uh, for a music. A hobby room, it's really more. Cool. Well, in the Netherlands, I personally don't know any houses that have bedrooms on the ground floor. Okay. I don't know. Is it a friendship thing in France? Uh, well, you know, for the, my the French house that you did for me. I, when I was watching reference pictures of what they do with the layout, it was really weird. Like the master bedroom was in the attic, and the two kids' bedrooms were on the first floor. And I what? It so weird. That's Imagine weird. There is robbers. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> the first bedroom that they are going to go is for the kids' bedroom. No, we if we have multiple bedrooms, like multiple kids, like the master bedroom will be on this floor. Let's say this room, and as if there will be another floor above that, that will be the kids' room. Like, kids always want the attic here. I don't know why. I don't like it. It's more noisy. You always hear the rain from, like, your roof. I <laughs> I don't get it. I... In the house you built for me, I put the, one of the kids' bedrooms in the attic. But I made one, like, like it's for a kid that likes space. Yeah, but... So the... It works fine. It makes sense, but... We, I don't personally know any houses that have a bedroom downstairs, so it's not a Dutch thing. I have seen like houses like in America and stuff that have yeah. that, but not not here. Yeah, I, in Portugal we have also uh, because I'm Portuguese. I live in France, but I'm Portuguese, and my in, in Portugal we have a lot of bedrooms in the ground floor. Yeah, I know that. I've actually seen it because it's colder there, right? Yeah, but. Well. <laughs> it's almost the end of the video, so go subscribe to Monica Builds. Do you want to say something? Well, yeah, come check uh, how I furnished your house that you did the last week, and I hope you will enjoy it. Yes, yeah, so have a nice day, everyone, and we'll catch you guys at the next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.